Hi friends, I am Savana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, today we will see the topic like adding columns dynamically to a data frame in PySpark. This has been already done in Scala. Based on a friend's request, I am doing that in PySpark. So friends, let's say we have a data like this. So this is the video I was talking about that in uh, Scala it's already there. So today uh, this is the sample that data that we are going to work with. Like it has three columns employee ID, employee name and address. With this sample data I have created a data frame. And it has three columns. Now let's see how to add uh, columns dynamically okay so uh, let me take what all columns to be added friends here I am taking the columns as a list okay in the previous video I have uh, shown how to read uh, the columns from uh, I mean some header alone from the file and the similar way even here you can apply that in this case as well okay so let's say salary DEPT and some column okay some column and like that you need to you may need to add uh, uh, some columns okay like a three to four columns or how many how many ever you want if you wanted to add then instead of hard coding using I mean if you wanted to add programmatically you might need to write multiple width column statements like df underscore one is there right df underscore one dot width column dot with column and then salary and uh, uh, similarly uh, but here the advantage is like if you wanted to have different values uh, then you have to go you have to write using the with column but let's say we need the columns but later you will uh, update that uh, data frame with some calculation you just need to uh, put bulk put to a data frame with multiple uh, columns right so without hard coding that how can we do that means we have a function called reduce in python what it does is reduce function in python takes a list as an argument i mean list of function function call with the list so this function um, it it, uh, uh, it it calls along with a lambda function and um, a, an iterable and uh, whatever is reduced right that reduced uh, result will be returned means that it uh, performs the repetitive operation over the pairs of the iterables that we are passing inside the reduce function along with lambda then it returns the reduced result so that one we will use it here so for that I am creating a new data frame df underscore 2 and I am saying that in the reduce I have to use that with the lambda so I am saying that I am passing some data frame okay let's say new data frame and I am taking one variable here because we have to iterate uh, through the uh, like uh, uh, like how many columns are there right so for that reason I am doing so inside this I am saying that you create with column of i and put it as new okay this is f dot lit means uh, we have to import from pyspar dot sql import functions as f and also we have to import reduce otherwise it will give error okay so now uh, we are giving a some literal value to this column the meaning of this is we are passing some literal value to this one so now this is done so for this what we will do is we have to pass the column name and from which data frame from df1 data frame ok now let's say df underscore 2 dot show so now what we are doing is we are using this reduce function means the the, the iterations like repetitive iteration uh, repetitive operation of with the column because that is what we are giving here right the repetitive operation of with the column will happen and it will return the uh, final operation reduced operation okay so now this is the uh, inside the lambda function i am sending one new data frame like on which we are going to apply 
and uh, this is the iterator that we can give any name not only i okay even here you can put any of your data frame name and data frame dot with the column because using with column only we can add the columns to a data frame and here we are passing the name of that because it, uh, uh, we are iterating over this list which is calls that is what we are passing it here and then to which data frame we have to pass what is the old data frame df underscore one which is here we have created with some sample data okay now let me run this and friends now you can see so here we had only three columns employee id employee name and address now how many columns four columns at a time it has created now let in later point of time if some new column has been added then you just update the calls and now you can see that some calls three also has been added here so friends now instead of this in the previous video i have shown how to read the column names alone i mean uh, how to give the uh, new column names or headers in a file and then how to read using the df dot columns and passing that to df dot columns right using that option also you can try that is more dynamic way because here at least the list will change but there you just have to update a file which resides in hadoop location so that without even touching your code just modifying the file you will be able to add how many columns you want hope this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you